Hi Pisces, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. Today are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that the roles can be reversed between you and your person if that applies. And with that said, yes, these are all general, so it's not for one person only. With that said, let's move on real quick. What's going on with you, Pisces? The hangman, I see very good energy. The lovers, I see Gemini energy the tower moment scorpio energy oh okay we have the six of swords libra gemini we got the seven of disc taurus virgo the queen of cups your energy pisces cancer scorpio the hero found in reverse taurus energy and then we got the queen of swords which is libra energy in the reverse and overall energy please and thank you we got the nine of wands leo <coughs> sagittarius and or aries So I see that somebody doesn't know what to do with this connection because this connection was very powerful, very, I don't know where to put this, very intense here, but it's clearly delayed, delayed. And I feel like hope and faith is slowly decaying. I feel like some somebody here is saying like, you know what, I think it's not going to happen. I think I should move on from it. Like, but they really don't know what to do. And I think this is a mutual energy. That's why we got the lovers here together this connection you could have been meeting your divine feminine or your divine masculine as we have the tower card right here which is for me the awakening card i feel like this connection has brought a lot of changes in your life or did brought a lot of changes in your life a lot of things changed the visualization of things perspective of things um i feel like you have to face your darkest fears i feel like it did help you face um some things that you didn't want to or didn't know that was there. I think it helped you with the with the shadow work, honestly, Pisces. And it seems to be that, you know, it's been a minute since you guys talked or saw this person. But it's like, I feel like there's a sense of wondering about them. This could be you. This could be your person, of course, like I mentioned before. Um, it seems to be that somebody's wondering. Like, I wonder how they're doing. I wonder if they still think about me. I see a lot of what if. Like, I, I wonder how things would end, you know. And I feel like because in the past, you guys could have been blinded by this connection. And I'm, and I'm talking about guys, meaning like both of you. You guys could have been blinded by the intensity of the connection, by the pure love and like energetic attraction that you guys had and you guys could have been a lot younger as well now it seems to be that all of that has passed because it's like what we call the honeymoon of the soulmates right so now you guys are more centered more aligned even though you guys haven't talked to each other and that is the point you guys needed to balance things out right so moving to this and if you don't believe me get a book of soulmates okay don't talk about your nalgas because i'm going to show you that you're wrong okay because so many books okay nobody here's dr phil okay don't give in the bottom your opinion about soulmates if it's not in a book it don't matter i've been reading too many books and i can woof, recommend you a ton so stay in your lanes anywho i'm done being petty for now um uh, yes is this a sense of like wandering around um i sense a sense of unsatisfaction here of like oh i'm happy but something is missing or i'm happy with my partner but it just doesn't feel right because you guys are this is like you guys represent the divine marriage you guys are divine connected and you guys are clearly on separation but it seems to be that if you feel like your person was mad at you for some reason they're not um your person has overcome some challenges they have learned from the past they're not as cold anymore or as close up because your person could actually be very difficult when it comes to communication they're not like that anymore with the eight of ones here i see a lot of communication happening fire energy i feel like they're gonna communicate with you i feel you guys have been having having have been having telepathic communication like random thoughts or also could be very powerful dreams as well i see like you guys are going to hear from this individual very soon for what it seems like summer summertime it seems like um you guys are not gonna quickly be in a relationship i see you guys are gonna be talking um 
because I guess, like I said before, you guys could have been younger, a little bit less mature in the past. And right now, you know, challenges in the tower moment has definitely bring some uh, some lessons and you guys are completely different than you guys used to. And you guys are actually talking from the bottom of the heart, but also I feel like it's more trustworthy now. With the four of pentacles right here, this is somebody who has been spying on you, Pisces, most likely. They have been spying on you. And uh, this person and you have been transformed. I feel like you guys are so different now. The sun, uh, Leo energy <coughs> in reverse. You guys are not happy because you guys know that you guys need that you guys need to be together or at least have a conversation or want to be together. What is coming to Pisces in love? So if you have thought Pisces, we got uh, Taurus, Virgo, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, very strong Pisces. Uh, we got Libra, Gemini, Aqu um, Aquarius, but a more, more um, <clears throat> Libra, Gemini. So if you thought like this was over, they're going to come in like a miracle. They're actually walking through the ocean on notice and they're going to come in and they're going to want to talk to you. This could be this text message that I see coming or, or you know, arriving. It's going to happen around noon all the way to 9 p.m., okay, for all this of you. Um, depends on the time that you are on. Again, that's a thing to be considered, but that's the timing. They're going to be actually texting you something um, to see how you are. To see if you respond most likely. To also see if that's still your number. Because for, for some reason they think that was not your number. You actually will not have their number as they change your phone number by the way. With the Ada Cups in the reverse. You're going to realize with the Ada Cups in the reverse. That they, that they haven't change much when it comes to how they feel about you and you're going to realize that there's still some fire within you when it comes to this person um i see the retrograde being the one uh you know working its magic i also see pluto and jupiter being aligned in a way to perform to make the truth come out i feel like your person has been holding back as much as you have perhaps because you both thought it was the best for you because you thought it was the end and they also thought the same but it seems to be that they just want to know if you still there if you could actually talk to them you know they miss that communication they miss you pisces they miss having that intensity they miss that you know and they are just risking it all to see if you will reply technically that's what they're doing with the princess of source in the reverse your person is not naive your person could have been naive your person at the time maybe they didn't know what they were doing because of like you know being very immature at that point but your person even if you were the one texting let's say that you chose to do it before them do it uh they're not going to not reply <coughs> they're definitely replying to you with the devil right here you guys have a lot of lust and attraction for one another. There's 100% chemistry here, like 100%. And you both wonder about one another. I still see you both are quite alike when it comes to spying on the other person. If you tell me you don't, you're definitely lying. You're definitely lying because the universe and the cars don't lie. And they're saying that you both, maybe you don't do it as often as they do it or the other way around, but you both check on each other's social media and you know you do it. So don't be saying, oh, I don't because guess, guess what? Lying or proving something it doesn't give you a, a grammy i'm telling you the cards are saying that you both are spying on each other in any way shape or form no matter if you did it 10 years ago you did it there is <laughs> a comeback from somebody that has been gone for a long time it's been gone for a long time but they're coming back with a love message this is the messenger representation of a message this could also be a letter that if they're old fashioned, they could actually send you a letter or an email for others to view. Don't know why. With the Ace of Cups, this is somebody that is represented with a cup, right? But I see the Phoenix on this cup, so it's like rising from the dead. Like you thought it was completely gone, you thought it was completely burned and tossed away, and you're like, holy moly, like who the hell is this? For again, they're going to reach out to you. 
in the weirdest way ever. With the four of wands and the queen of swords, it seems to be that this communication is going to actually give you some sort of celebration. You're going to be very happy, excited, and it seems to be that this could be the door or even the window to perhaps a new beginning. I see 4th of July as well being important for others of you. This month, uh, sorry, um, not this month, June. What is this person's feelings towards Pisces? So they're trying to balance their feelings for you because like I said before, they haven't had any communication with you. So they don't want to get very involved with you without really knowing exactly if, if it's even worth it, you know? So they do like you 100%. They do have like, you know, those are feelings. Definitely. They feel attraction for you. They will like to, they don't like you as a friend. They like you as more as a friend. So again, even if they come as friendly or like, oh, let's, let's be friends friends uh be sure that they want more than that that you're saying that because again it's just testing the waters to see how you react to make sure they don't get rejected you know a lot of reasons behind that intention but just so you know they don't like you as a friend they like you more as a friend there's still that intensity that connection you guys um need to talk about a lot of things i think a lot of things have changed in your life has changed in their life if you desire to but there's a lot of things that need to be talked to before saying like yeah let's give it a, a second chance but at the end of the day they do have feelings for you they're just trying to balance it out because again we don't have communication so you know they don't want to get their heart broken or high hopes and it don't work you know but the magician in reverse um this is libra gemini of course can we clarify that so it seems to be that you could see them as a shady person. Like you may see like, oh, they're a charlatan. I can't trust them. Like what are they going to, what do they want? Like you don't seem to trust them a lot. But what the appearances of swords is telling you right here that you will never know if you don't try. Pretty much telling you to give them a chance to show you differently or to show you that you're right. You know, like because I, I get it. I get it. You know, everything can grow. It could go either way or that way because it's multiple Pisces. Not everybody's going to experience the same thing. So at the end of the day, they want you to let their actions speak speak for themselves. So you can actually have either or, oh, yeah, I was right or I was wrong kind of thing, you know. With the Ten of Swords, uh, they don't like how things ended. Uh, they felt like, you know, I feel like you both hurt each other in any way, shape, or form. It don't matter who hurt the other person the most, but it seems to be that this was mutual. This could be words. This could be actions not being matched with whatever they said or you said. Again, but at the end of the day, they don't like how things ended. Uh, they have been... Uh, going around the situation and thinking about it and they're like damn i would have liked to be friends with pisces at the very least you know so again it seems to be that they just really don't like how things ended in between you and them with the four cups they're tired of watching you from afar they're tired of spying on you they're tired to see your life through a screen they're like oh my goodness and even if you block them or they blocked you like i always explain it's 2022 there's many ways to spy on somebody very simple very easy uh even if they if you go like i blocked their phone number again there's even apps that you can get fake numbers for a minute you know so it is not that complicated but they're tired of watching you through a screen like they're just tired and that's why they're gonna shoot their shot they're gonna text you or messenger if you got facebook or it's going to be an email for others to view i don't know how but they're going to have uh some of you that you will receive an email with the moon right here it's clearly like somebody from that somebody has been hiding or somebody that it feels like it's been hiding because you don't know anything about them uh it is coming out and you're like very surprised very shook because you're like oh my god i i i thought you were completely gone from my life and they're just here and they're coming in with something that you need to know um a reason and or i don't know i feel it's a reason i don't know it's something important that they feel that they want you to know that you also have been thinking about like not sure what it is but it's some sort of like telling you something very important that they've been hiding or it hasn't been clear clarified for a long time tempest right here divine timing again the universe did separate you guys because you guys needed to grow you guys needed to do your own thing but you and this person are still connected the divine is actually putting its effort and putting all the influence upon this reunion so again we have to give it a chance 
if you want to of course but you have to give it a chance if you want to know what's actually this situation is all about because it's not giving me much it's giving me something that has been hidden that you need to know that is extremely important for you to know and it is not just sex there is no reason behind it besides just wanting to have a reunion wanting to talk to you wanting to have reconciliation wanting to make amends so those are the reasons you know that they are actually having to come back and with a ten of pentacles a slightly a slightly slightly intention of having oh my goodness look at this a second chance with you you know but and why i say slightly because they're not very hopeful about it they're not hopeful about it. Like I said before, they're trying not to put their high hopes too high because they don't want to be disappointed. What was this person hiding from Pisces in the past? What was this person hiding from Pisces in the past? This person could have been married in the past. Okay. This person could have been married. Uh, yeah, most likely this person was married or had a relationship in the past. And that, that's what they were hiding from you in the past. But it seems to be that this person wasn't very happy. Yeah, they weren't very happy with it. And it seems to be that da, 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 they actually end up that relationship. Okay. So if you were thinking like, oh, were they single? Yeah, in the past they were not single. It seems to be that this person just wants to tell you the truth about that they were in a triangle here in a very unhappy relationship and they recently got divorced or separated if it wasn't a, a you know legal marriage so now we're gonna go with the outcome let's see what's going on that's what is pisces outcome what can you tell me for pisces what is the uh the outcome here <clears throat> So, the truth is going to come out. The truth is going to come out. Everything that's been hidden from you, hidden from you, everything that you had any doubts, everybody who, ha who has lied to you or even been fake to you, they are coming to light. There is a very intense, intense of offer coming your way with the Ace of, Ace of Disc, which is a uh, opportunity for a new beginning, a new relationship. With the judgment right here, it seems to be that this is um, meant to happen as part of the plan. We got Libra energy. It seems to be that everything's gonna happen on on the low. They're recommending you to not just scream it on the scream that oh they're coming back. Like to not make it so public because there's things that needs to be resolved within you and them. Because a lot of people will give you opinions, and it seems to be that it's only you and them the main people here, of course. So you guys have to try to keep it in the low. Don't tell a lot of people so you guys can resolve the issues within the both of you. With the Tower moment is gonna clarify. The Tower moment is gonna bring everything. To calmer waters and it's actually going to actually uh in a way to perform cancel the tower moment in your life which is all these challenges and all these things it's also going to remove it's going to remove the karmic energy that you guys have been carrying for a long minute if you feel like you have been feeling very sick very tired very like bad luck is because you guys were carrying karmic energies and this person coming in is going to release all of that and with the page of swords right here, it seems to be that, of course, we they don't you guys don't know exactly where to go with this, but it's telling you right here that you only will know the answer to would it work or not. The only answer to that is you will know if you try, if you let them show you with their actions what they want. But it's definitely coming in soon. Look at this, the emperor right here, Aries energy. This person uh, has been also having tarot readings about you, or they're very psychic as well, but they're coming in very strongly with an important, not a decision, but an important action that is gonna change a lot of things in your life, especially the karmic energies you've been dragging without you even knowing. So that's what's coming towards you, Pisces. So with that said, now we're gonna move on with their initials. These are either or the first, last, middle, or even nickname, and keep in mind that these are all general, so of course, not all the initials are going to belong to one person. We got C as in cat, Z as in zebra, O as in Oscar, J as in Jason. We have B as in boy, T as in Tom, V as in Victor, Q, uh, Q I as in Ian, 
E as an uh, elephant, U as an umbrella, L as an Lucy, and S as an Sam. And D as an dog, I also saw. Sorry, I forgot to say it. So, now we're going to go with your angels. Oh, no, hold on. Let's go with the time frames, okay? Time frames. Let's see what the time frame says. Keep in mind that these time frames are all general, so they're all estimates, okay? Because these are all general still. So we got three. The first one says, what does your intuition feel the time frame is? That is the answer. Before the holidays, and then it says, before it will happen, <clears throat> it will happen right before the summer months. So those are the possible time frames for some of you. Now we can move to the angel's advice here. What is the advice for you? So let's see. Okay. God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God and your, and your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack of limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. Then we got take a divinely guided chance. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk, and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I forgot to show you guys. I forgot to show you guys. By the way, that's the basic, you know, like that card that comes in the deck. That tells you how to shuffle the cards. I always put it aside so I can because it's kind of new for my son. He loves that. So I always put it aside so I can give it to him. So let's see what is your what is uh Pisces person energy with this card? What is the overall energy? The tower. <laughs> Scorpio energy. What is uh Pisces energy? Overall energy. Justice. <laughs> So your person is the tower, Scorpio energy, and justice. This is your energy, Pisces, which is Libra energy. So this person is going to bring your world, world upside down. This is definitely changes. This is definitely transformations and challenges. And you are the justice, which is the person who can actually either or cut, cut it, which means end it, or find and bring the balance that is needed. So you choose. So this is officially the end of your reading, uh, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to win a free reading, keep in mind that I'm hosting a free reading giveaway. All you need to do is to follow my channel, subscribe to my channel. Um, every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers, I host this kind of readings. Uh, I will choose three winners. I want to mention them next week. And once my channel gains a 10K, I'm going to also have the, the reading because it'll be the, you know, the 1,000 subscribers that I need. It's like my channel is away from like 500, I believe. Anyways, uh, once I get the 10K, I'm going to have the three winners, plus I'm going to add a fourth one, and that one is going to have a <clears throat> live reading. So if you want to be a participant of that, make sure to subscribe, as every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers, like I said before, you have the chance and opportunity to win. With that said, I most likely did, or I'm doing it right now, I'm showing you my social medias. Please make sure if you have Instagram to follow me, as I always follow back. I also have a small group on Facebook, which I'm trying to grow. If you want to be part of it, make sure to add it. And last one, if you like TikTok, I have my own TikTok, and I post different tarot stuff over there. So don't forget to look for me on TikTok if you like, and if you like TikTok readings. So with that i mean tiktok and all that or tarot readings <laughs> anyways i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it right now so i love you guys so much have an amazing day and see you soon